There we go. Hello, YouTube. I am Grimwit. This is Coronium. Anyway. Uh, so, funny story, um, yeah, the hint was staring me right in the face. Let's jump in. I think I know why the hint is a hint. Um, oh, you know, you know what, Pro probably don't want the intro music playing in the background while we're going through this. Alright. So, I mean, the hint was clearly this thing, right? 1613. That's the hint, right? So, I got the answer from the walkthrough, but not the the reason that was the answer. But I suspect the calendar is the reason. So it was 1613, right? So 1 2 3 4 5 6 right? Or is it? No, it's six away. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then 13 would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No? Am I off one? Yeah, I was off one. Okay, that's fine. So, really obvious answer, I just didn't do it. Ah, it went straight through my head. I am already become incorporeal. I don't need the canarium. Be like, it's, it's kind of like the canarium in the coal mine right now. Oh boy. I need a phonograph cylinder. Oh, there's a phonograph cylinder. Why don't we use this one? God, that's bright. Oh, that's dangerous looking. Good thing I kept this under the house. In archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. What, he find it under his house? I hope the ladder doesn't give out under my weight. No risk, no reward, my friend. Yeah, that's right. Go head first. Oh my god, I have hands. I'm wearing a sweater. This is all news to me. Gripping. Huh? Yeah. It's a good pun. What a thrill. <laughs> well, I'll probably need something to do that again. Oh, hey. Dr. Faust, why do you keep skulls just, you know, haphazardly in the, uh, in the underneath of your house? Asking for a friend. This madness again. Oh, hey, a key. That'll become useful later on. 
I suspect I know the door that it opens. Ah, god damn. Oh, hey. So that's a symbol we recognize. A lot from beyond influences. Yeah, I've cut on. Although from beyond is like a snapshot compared to this mess. I'd like to think that this has more to do with the um, Mountains of Madness. This looks like a blank cylinder. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. Yeah. 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 Although, the thing about knowledge is that even if it's all destroyed, you will eventually, like, rediscover it all. So I want to take a look at this printer, right? It's 1949. What is this? What is this strange box thing? Like... The smallest computer right now takes up an entire living room. Actually, living rooms are a new concept. I should say take up takes up the parlor. What what is this thing right here? What is it supposed to do? Fax machine? What the fuck is a fax? It's 1940. Look at this. Oh no, I could actually see a speaker be looking something like this. Although this. This has got some miniaturized technology, man. This is nuts. Like, hell, my radio is the fucking size of a wet bar. So, like, I just... What, what is that thing? What the hell is happening? Bats. Anyway, we got what we needed. Faxes have been around since 1843. Before telephones. In 1843, mechanical fax, Alexander Brent Bain invented the electric painting telegraph machine. 1843, which is the world's first fax device. This, my friend, is not a fax. All right? Some of this technology is just way out of hand for what it is. Maybe you could get away with something this big as a f weird form of oscillation detection. But this, nah, man. <laughs> I don't know if I can agree with that. Oh, hey. It's stuck. I have a key. Let's unstuck it with the key. Yeah. Is there another one on the other side? Yes, there is. Hey! Oh, wow, this looks fucking dangerous. Uh, yeah, sure. What's going on in here? Let's avoid walking in the middle. All right. Oh, 
Oh no! One of two things happened, both of which I don't like. The first one, it crashed, didn't happen. Yes, take the mystic pizza. The second one, it teleported me. I knew it. All those years of extensive research have not been in vain. Here it is. Fuck! Lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia. I got an achievement under the sands. Why is my notebook empty? I, I wasn't done with it! It's not painting, printing. You just looked it up? Eh, I don't want to know. I don't want to be distracted by things like facts and reason. They couldn't record things back then because they didn't have VCRs. And nothing was in color like this, which is totally anachronistic. My dad specifically told me that before the 1960s, there was no color. Which is why everything before like 1969 is black and white. Been in this situation before. I bet somebody could decrypt this. The hallway seems like it was intentionally blocked with this ornate wall. And there are some primal writings inscribed on it. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian. A formless, glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm. Able to mark and reflect all forms and organs. Ever hear ye of a sugar? Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian. A formless, okay. glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm. So able to mark that. and reflect all forms and organs. You got me bugged out about that fax machine now. If that fax machine is so great, why won't it fight me? Hmm. I know you sent me the image. Of course you sent me the image. <laughs> I can't even show that image on stream without, like, just stopping everything. So, we're just not going to worry about that image. So, people in YouTube, look up a 1949 fax machine. That is your mission right now. Leave comments below about how fantastic people were for figuring it out in 1949 and how magnificently small it was. It was so small. It could fit in a matchbox. Which made it completely useless, because all of the ticker tape that came out of the matchbox was was illegibly small and tiny. From your redundancy of depart, your redundancy department of redundancy, and the natural guard. Oh, oh, of course. You know, this is an archaeological find of the ages, and no one will believe that uh, 
that I actually found this, so I better erase the evidence of this eon old door. Fuck your history! Get it all! Get it all! Ah! Yeah, there we go! Mmm! Mmm, delicious! I've destroyed history! I'm the bigger man. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. Only one way to find out! I wonder if these mummified uh, bodies were the them. ones who originally built this place. I wonder if these mummified oh God, bodies were the up. ones who originally built bodies. this place. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. On the off chance that he might say something different. Hey, there's a red star right there, and everybody's pointing at it. The big lizard guy, the little lizard guy. I'm gonna call this a cobalt. This looks like a cobalt. When I think of cobalt, that's what I'm gonna think of. The big lizard guy is obviously just a lizard man. I see a uh, pyramid scheme of worship going on here. Hmm. Nope, can't chop you either. Okay, what are you guys staring at? Two people pointing and and. and Staring at this thing, being like, "Hey, look at that! Look at look at that guy! Isn't that weird? Look at that! There's a there's a dot! Look at it! Are you looking? Of course you sent a 1946 and 1949 fax machine. And another one. Why stop at three? Untrusted. It is time. It is time for your true calling. You need to go into my Discord. Go into the meme, the dank meme channel, and spam photographs of 19 uh, of old fax machines. Nothing above the 60s, please. Maybe there's a clue here. No, maybe not. I've noted down the symbols. Yeah. Once again, a very nice feature of this game is the running. Although I may have got my fill of the running from the last, uh, the last running away from lizard man skeletons. And you think that would be the equivalent of being locked into a closet with a box of cigars and being told to smoke them all. That's a reference. I'm sure none of the youngins will get that reference. But all the oldens will, especially you boomers, eh? So, hmm. Okay. Wait, so... I jotted it down, but I have no way of looking it up? Which button is the symbol button? Fucking hell. 
I'm hitting journal. I, I seri I'm serious. I'm hitting journal now, and I can't pull up the journal picture. It's not letting... It's, it doesn't recognize... Like, it won't make this noise if I push something that doesn't do anything. Like, H, H doesn't do anything. And it's not doing anything when I push H. But when I push J for journal so I can see the drawing... Nope, not getting it. Maybe I should push D for, for drawing? Oh, yeah, that makes me strafe right. So that's not it. What the fuck? Maybe I can, I don't know, press S for secret? Nope, nope, that makes me go backwards. Good, uh, good job there, buddy. Good work. Since I don't have, let me immediately zoom back to the front. Maybe I can put a piece of paper against the screen and trace it myself. My guess here is that I have to match this somehow. Okay, it looks like an anchor with a J for a handle. So let's see if I can mimic that. Post done. Post a done of them in your Discord. Are you sure I'm dyslexica? Are you sure you're not dyslexica? Doom lad. Well, Doom lad, you are in for a treat. We are trying to force a meme of old pre 1960s fax machines. Also, tonight I've learned I'm dyslexica. That feels right, right there. But I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right at all. Look at the one I on the Discord and please affirm in text how wrong Grim is about fax machines at Doom Lab. Okay. I want to try something real quick. If this lights up and I move the inner one, yes, so the inner one will not act, the inner one affects which one is lit up here, which may be affected also. So the inner one, this one seems to affect all of them. So, oh, you know what, the, uh, the answer is right there in front of me. I have a five-pointed star, so I need to match the star, right? to admit that I don't actually know the pattern I'm doing here. 
As fun as that is to spin right round baby right round like a record baby right round round round, it's not really getting me anywhere. Huh. How many lights are on this thing? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many dots are on this symbol? I really only see two dots. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. Hey, do you wonder if these mummified bodies are the ones who originally built this place, guys? I wonder if I should maybe not have destroyed that door and deciphered it to figure out what the uh, puzzle, the answer to the puzzle is. Now clearly this, built, this place is built out of bodies. Each stone is made from compressed bone, which is actually, you know, pretty sturdy. Calcium could be a useful building tool. For sure, I wonder if all the... I wonder it all the time and say it all the time while walking through hallways. Me too. For secrets, diddly do. Are we establishing now that Grimwit is suck at puzzle games? Is that what's happening? Oh no. Okay, good. Thought it was stuck. So far, I mean, so far the game hasn't really crashed on me and I haven't encountered a huge amount of jank. So, I shouldn't really have to worry about it. So, I did, like, I did take a drawing of this, and boy, do I wish I could see that drawing right now. Oh, wait, how many, how many dots are on that? Nine. One too many dots. Like, how do I find that freaking... No? Oh, that's the axe button. Don't want to deal with that yet. There's the flashlight button. There's the journal button that won't work for some reason, which I needed to work. Okay, that's all the letters of the alphabet. I bought it for you because I thought you would enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I am not immune to becoming salty every now and then. Often due to things like the journal button, not pulling up the piece of information that I feel might be necessary for completion of the, uh, of the puzzle. Even if it's not, I should at least be given the option, especially considering that the journal button Worked fine before I got that drawing. Also, I wonder, I wonder if, if the mummified, mummified bodies, bodies were the ones, the ones who originally, who originally built, built this place. place. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. I think the answer to all of those questions is yes. We don't have any fuel to burn for eternity in this bowl. I don't wonder what they're burning. This place has been shut up for at least a thousand years. It's been burning the entire time? Hmm. I need to mine these crystals. I can use them for making uh, advancement... Uh, materials so that I can level up my weapons. 
Genshin players will get that. Well, give me a second. I'm looking up a picture of that drawing. Okay, yes. Yes, apparently I do need that picture. That picture is exactly what I need in order to solve this. So you know what? I'm just going to look up the answer. For whatever reason, it won't let me look at the picture, and the picture is the answer to this prop, to this, uh, this puzzle that's annoying that's supremely annoying so I walk up here I hit J for journal but I can't open it but now that I have seen the picture that I drew upstairs I can now make this fit the picture Yep. Glad that worked. Oh, all right. Um, maybe grab this. Oh, cool. Let's take that. What's going on in here? Okay, it's just the one. So now that I don't need that picture again, I feel justified. I can switch back. You try restarting the game? Well, if it becomes an issue again, then yeah, I'll restart the game. Maybe it'll fix itself. Is that a picture of Pangea? I think it is. Where can I find the hot, sexy Shugoths in my area? Wait a second, this is the map for Dragon Warrior! Oh, hey! Let's look around real quick. Okay. It's not a picture, it's a mosaic. Oh. Well, technically you're wrong. It's a collection of small, colorful items placed together to represent uh, some kind of geological formation. Turns out we're both. This must be where all the hot and sexy Shogoths are. So that's just actually really cool. Like, I can actually tell America here. I can tell, like, Africa hasn't separated yet from, uh... I finally found it. This mural is depicting the continents in the middle... Hmm. Jurassic era, I believe. This is marvelous, as well as overwhelming. The light from the device is obviously showing the locations of the ancient Canarians. Yes, it definitely is so. 
for I've known two of these places, from the detailed petroglyphs in the secret halls beneath the Khafre's pyramid. But they all had gone now. Even their ruins had been crumbled under the waves of human cruelty and the merciless time. But this lowermost landmass is what we call Antarctica today. It is most probable that the structure that holds the Conarium is mostly enduring still today. The time. Not just any time. The time. So I have all the information I need. Boom, right in the pineal gland. Better leave this place immediately. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh boy! We got to see us a shogoth. How cool is that? Sweet as black pudding. I guarantee once this is done loading and I hit the J key, I'll be able to look at my journal. <laughs> did it get put under drawings? It did not. Guess we're going this way. Oh, hey, we're here again. So we're traveling through people's memories, right? This is a whole bunch of people's memories. Oh, I lost all of my shit. And I can't seem to grab any more. There's Mr. Blake's. Barlow's. I think I understand. Are we given the option to to walk into other people's heads? Like, just, just, just hold on a thought. This is my head, and this this door was very much locked. Sure, let's see what kind. Ca mm. That's very annoying. Please stop that. Have you met the hot shoggoths in your area? Before I go dancing into that place, can I go into Barlow's head? Nope. It won't open. What about Blake's? <sighs> it's nope. stuck. Can I go back the way I came like last time? No. It's stuck. No, they thought of it this time. Okay. Let's go into creepy cave number 12. Oh, now you don't flick on and off? This is the price we must pay for our transgressions. The price to be paid for breaking away from the limits of mortal flesh and delving into arcana of consciousness that few have trod. Ah, what the hell is going on? I have a cockney accent. You are naive for suppressing our truest aspirations. Such earthly fear of improbability detached you from our absolute purpose. Okay, with that. No. Oh. I, I definitely lost my mind. Like, having brushed across true madness in my time. Lost my mind means less and less to me. Oh, my sweater's gone. Oh, that's a big hook. Uh, I got an achievement called Almost There. 
Oh. Where the hell are we? I'm guessing subterranean ruin. Dead tentacle. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, not dead tentacle. Let's just sneak by that without looking too closely at it. Our, our sanity score is already magnificently low, and we should probably not, you know, tempt it. Oh good, I have my flashlight. Do I have my shit again? I do, yeah. Just in case I need it. There we are. Go, you can put that away, thank you. Okay, yeah, we're in the ruins of Oh hey! Barlow? Oh god, what has happened to him? Dr. Faust, can you hear me? Are you alright? Yes. I can scarcely hear you. How terrific is the price of a single glimpse behind the veil of nature. I like your monocle. Frank, we've sought to escape from the, the tedium and limitations of waking reality into beckoning vistas of fabled avenues of other dimensions. But did it work? Or was all in vain for us to begin with? I lost my sight and I cannot feel my legs anymore. Our bodies are falling apart under such alien sensations of this accursed device we used to open forbidden doors of time and space. And I feel every part of my body is failing fast. I have no power within me to resist my downward course now. So you... you have to move on. There is no other way. Reach the ancient conarium and shed your deteriorated skin. Else consume some of this will ease your pain, but eventually you will end up like me. And I'm, I have such a small... Uh... Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust! He is dead. Yeah, but, I mean, he didn't die alone. You were right here. Get a marker. I want to fuck with his body. I know, that's super disrespectful. Whoa. Whoa! Right. Stay on the beaten path. Well, that's okay. That's not what I thought it was. I thought that was the side of something. I feel like we're coming to the end of this. That's kind of bizarre. So, interesting question. Now that Faust is dead, does that mean we can no longer share with his memories? Okay, 
I'm clearly going to end up going that way. So let's look at this first. many of these symbols do we have? Are there some on the outside? No. Okay, that's kind of one... two... Three, I'm guessing. Yep, three. Oh, all of the things are facing the right? No, they're not. Four. Five. Six. So there are six of these letter pillars, which we may need to solve for later. That looks fairly alien. Oh, hey. I recognize you, Ivy. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Some inner and outer in the six. Nope, we've noted down the symbols. Useful. Might be able to do it without that. Let's see, points left. Looks like kind of like fire, even though it's probably tentacles reaching for twin suns that sink into the lake of Hali. Um, Picasso face. A maze. It looks like an ear. No, that looks like an ear. That looks like an S. Or a seer. So... Left the fire to face the maze. Searing. Alright, cool. Let's do this. A lot of symbols here. Oh, I see. It's this one. Wrong ones. Wrong symbol list. Oh, because the symbols aren't exactly right. That hurt my eyes. I memorized the wrong story. Damn. That's nothing like what I just put. No, that's kind of like it. Last one, huh? Uh, before I do this, see, I don't know. Wait a second. Well, while I'm thinking about this, because I've screwed up somewhere, there's also this path here that seems to lead back to this thing. So let's see what this leads to real quick.
Oh, hey. Ugly Umber Hulk face. Can I not make it past these vines? Oh, yeah, I can totally make it past the vines. Collect past the vines. We got birds on a hill. Some kind of keep or rampart. No, that's not what a rampart is. Hey, what do we got here? A, a Necronomicon, just a copy of it right here. Let's read the description. Necronomicon. The book was allegedly, allegedly written by Abdul al Hazrad, the mad Arab from Yemen in the, the 730s AD. Legend has it that for years he explored the arid deserts of Arabia, primordial temple ruins of Babylon, and untouched catacombs of Memphis. There needs, there needs to be a comma between Babylon and the word and. Then he discovered a lost, I'm sorry, then he discovered a lost city, half buried amidst shifting sands. In his last years in Damascus, al Hazrad penned the notorious book with knowledge that he had gained from his travels. And then he was eaten alive by some unknown force, unknown and invisible force. So legend goes. Oh, looks like there's something square in the horizon. Put anything into you, or are you just a standard proverbial, a proverbial uh, pillar? You never know what you can find in the shores of the underground expanse. Like these weird-looking plants. Kind of remind me of thistles, underground thistles. Why are they green? They don't need to absorb light. Oh. Maybe mysterious light. Invisible wall is kind of shoving me this way. I had no idea I would be able to do this. Give me a rocky grass field to explore. There's got to be stuff hidden around here that I'll never come across just because of how well it's placed. Yeah, I think I've just come full circle. Maybe? Like, maybe. Looks beautiful and calm lake. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's got ripples, and I don't know what those ripples are from. There's n there shouldn't be any airflow up down here. Okay, now we have definitely come full circle. Ah, the invisible wall. My old friend. Okay, and that was relatively painless to do, thanks to the magic of the run button. Okay, this one is correct. The next one should be like, sun. I missed the triangle. Yeah, and this one. <coughs> Weird. <sighs> this one should actually be a triangle symbol, and that's where I screwed up. Yeah. And then the next one should be like the koi, which is what this symbol looks like. Last two are the uh, sort of flaming sun in the ear shape. Okay. That 
looks nothing like a flaming sun. And the ear shape. Okay. That's all of them. I think. I wonder what these symbols might be used for. That's... Did I put it in right? Okay, so now the question is, what is the top? Pretty sure I put the uh, symbols in right. Is this the top because it's pointing towards that? Oh, hey. Um, oh my god. I am super observant, man. Is, uh, here's a tip. See how the... See how there are inside symbols and outside symbols? That, that's barely a, a hint. That's more like an observation. Triangle clock. Learning something new from this whole mess. Okay, this one should be the koi, and I think that's it. Oh! Sh sure. Oh, I think I know where this is going. this kind of light technology, we could create fax machines that are even smaller. It's kind of pointed that way, though. It feels like I can do something more with this. Yep, okay. Sir, no one wants a pocketbook sized fax, ma fax machine. It would be a liability to get lost. There we go, I done it. I don't 
know what I did, but I done it. I just got a Zelda noise telling me that I completed whatever it is. Well, I've been waiting to see what one of you look like. Thought I had, but nope, you actually look like that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be in the way, huh? Can I, like, get energy from you real quick? Just... Okay, let's, let's go. Let's watch you. But, uh, don't mind me, my man. You just keep on doing and grooving. And, uh, you know what? Now's a good place to put a cut. It is getting super interesting. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end on this goddamn cliffhanger. I feel like the end is near. Alright. BRB, LOL.